This is Boxing Tickets. This is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SB Sports and Chaco. We're here at the weigh in and we've bumped into public nuisance once again. Sean, you waited so long, it's like buses, you waited so long to fight in the SSE. You did your first fight in August and obviously now you're a co main event tomorrow night. It luck luck does mysterious things in boxing, doesn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Um listen as I said in the last uh, in the last show, I don't belong that far down on the bill. And now to be bumped up to come in event and just the very next bill, it shows that I bring a great support behind me and uh, I've got the, all the tools to belong in that in that place in the car and I'll show that tomorrow night. You're 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 pretty much a ready-made replacement, obviously it's your own. You're an entertainer, you know. You're obviously a crowd favourite and everything else. It's obviously sad for you, obviously drones off the card, but I guess that's boxing sometimes, isn't it? Unfortunately, Liam Taylor gets sick, and what can you do? I guess Tyrone just has to pick himself up and get another new fight date somewhere. Yeah, as I say, like from a, a, a selfish perspective, it, it benefited me to go kill call me an event then. Um, but again. It's very sad for Tron. It's close to Christmas. He's got a young family. He's just got a new house, and obviously financially, it's not great for him in terms of doing a full camp away from home, and then a fight to fall through on fight weeks a wee bit difficult and a, a bit of a sickener. Um, I just really hope that um, his manager Jamie and and Megan managed to get him a, a fight soon after Christmas, a big fight, um, where he can pull up back, and hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. I guess the, the disappointing thing is it's. That the sort of Christmas is sort of cancelled for him in some ways. Now, I watched his podcast with Tommy yesterday, and he was saying, "I don't like Turkey anyway." So he's sort of playing it and a, a good, good, good prospect. But, but for you, I guess you've obviously had the disappointment, obviously the Gavin Gwynn defeat, and, and during lockdown, does this make up for it tomorrow night? Now the fact that you're back there, you, you want big fights, you want title fights. This Thursday put you in the shop window now for even bigger fights. Yeah, well, as I said before, I am where I believe I should be. Um, and I have to prove that tomorrow night. Um, if I don't prove where I am and, and I shouldn't belong there, then I shouldn't be. But tomorrow night I will showcase that I'm 100% confident based on my camp, based on my sparring, the opposition I've been sparring and how good I've been performing in the gym. Um, and as you said, I'm an entertainer. Um, the bigger the show, the bigger the crowd, the better I'll be. And obviously the atmosphere you're going to have in the SSE tomorrow night, you could probably have never have pictured it. You've been there for big fights before, but, but for you to make that ring walk tomorrow night and the place will be packed, you know, that, that's what boxing's, that's what you want pro boxing for, isn't it? Of course, that's it, the big nights, the big historic nights in uh, Belfast. Um, I said before, I've watched them all in the past, Carl Frampton, even Bram McGee right through, Damien Kelly. Um, Went to Dublin, watched Bernard Dunn's there, all historic like, like, nights in boxing, Irish boxing, and this is another one. And I guess the, the special part tomorrow night is you're finally getting your first pro belt, but even more so for your son. You know, that's, I think I said to Jamie last week, it's them wee things where, where you can pass that on to your son and he goes, my daddy's a champion. That That's that's everything you want in boxing, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. Like, I, just keep, I, I keep telling myself I'm WBO European champion. When I introduce myself to people, I'm WBO European Champion. Um, I have to believe it, I know it. I, I have all the tools. Um, I'm aware that boxing is boxing and anything can happen. So I'm not overlooking anyone. I'm just really, really believing in myself and my own ability. And thinking at the back end of it, what I'm going to achieve is a WBO European title. For me, my son and my family as a whole, because boxing isn't just an individual, it's an individual sport, but the team I have around me in the, in the camp, uh, all the lads, Pete, Butch, Big Mark, Screamers, a full, the list goes on, all the lads played individual roles, coming in to help me spawn, my family sacrificed so much to help me get to where I am, the Irvla, the Chael, her mum, her dad, my mum, my dad, to extend the family, and, and then I make my own individual sacrifices, which is away from my mates, so... I've recognised all this now. I know how much I've put in this. The last two years have been difficult, trying to claim back after that defeat to Gavin Gwynn. And I will remember that feeling of loss for as long as I live. And I'll make sure tomorrow night that I don't feel that same feeling again. Would you say in some ways that, that you've obviously accepted obviously the defeat to Gavin Gwynn, but in a way that's probably made you an even better person? Like Thinking of obviously young kids coming through and obviously having a defeat, 
and obviously maybe you know rather than saying oh this happened or that happened you went it's a defeat I've lost but you're now even stronger than what you were before and you know as I say I think they said yesterday but Sean McComb 2.0 this is a, an even better and even improved version yeah 100% it's a better and improved person um, Pete's brought out all the best aspects of my game um, and I've been doing them consistently in the gym and it's shown off from Spawn. Um, Shawnee Mac 2.0 is here and, and he's here to stay there won't be a 3.0 it's just Shawnee Mac 2.0 and that's it I guess obviously having Jazz always in the camp obviously he lifted obviously AB about in Liverpool not, not long ago and he was hoping you prepare for this the good thing is it's your opponent's smaller as well so you're going to be well acclimatised and, and obviously the height difference that, that it is going to be the very best we're going to have over you tomorrow night yeah, I mean, when I look at Jazza and I look at Osteran, my opponent, they're very similar. Same stage, surf pose, small, same head movement, good feet work. Um, and uh, very hard to pin down. So I've developed a good style over the rounds I've done with Jazza on how to the benefit of keeping him from doing what he does good and doing what I do good. And I believe it's going to be a big factor tomorrow night's fit. Winning tomorrow night, obviously, I know we don't like to look too much into the future, but obviously it gets you world ranked, potentially, obviously, with the WBO. Is this, obviously, then 2023 could be massive? If you look at Potty this year, no fights the August, similar to yourself, and obviously then lands the ABO belt. Do you look at it in a similar fashion and go and win this, and it could have a massive fight next? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it makes me recognised within the top rankings in the world. Um, all the top guys will only be looking at the top 10, 15 in each, in each uh, governing body. Um, so now when they look at the WBO governing body, they're going to see my name. That's the start of it. Then when, we put an opportunity, when we're given an opportunity or we put a fate to people, then they'll know who I am. Um, and as, as you say, hopefully big massive fates come off the back yet. Yeah. Well, listen, all the very best of luck for tomorrow night. And I'm sure we'll hopefully catch up with you soon afterwards. Cheers, good man. Bang, bang, good chip. Uh, Woo!